there guys welcome back to another video of all things apple plus we have a great video to show you guys today it's going to be an amazing one i'm so excited for the jailbreak that has finally come out for ios 12.0 to 12.1.2 it's just an amazing day it's going to be an amazing weekend and i can't wait to see what's in store down the road but let's go ahead and get into the matter of this video this video is meant for those people that are on a12 devices meaning that if you are on an iphone xs iPhone XS Max or an iPhone XR, you are currently not able to jailbreak at the moment. Those devices that are on a lower or that are on like the iPhone 7, 8, 5, uh, excuse me, 5S and 6, you guys are able to down your guys are able to download the, the jailbreak currently at the moment and you guys are able to jailbreak no issues, no problems. Now, this is gonna be a tutorial to show you guys how to set up your device. That way, if you are wanting to jailbreak that are on the A12 device, you know, uh, like the XS, XS Max or the XR, this is gonna show you guys what to do so you guys can get your device set up for the jailbreak. Currently, I'm under the iPhone Manage Storage section of my phone. What you want to do, why I'm here, is because you may have under this section an OTA update. So if you're on any sort of firmware or any device, you may have gotten a iPhone 12.1.4 OTA update. Make sure that you delete that from the Manage Storage section. Also, you're gonna wanna download the tvOS beta software profile onto your device. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and I'll leave a link in the description so that way you guys can download this and get this installed onto your device because you're going to need this OTA software. Next, you're gonna also want to be on iOS 12.1 or 12.1.2 or even 12. Point, or 12.0. I'm currently on 12.1 and I'm sticking there, I'm staying there and I've locked my device, especially with that tvOS beta software profile, that locks your device. So if you're on iOS 12.1, download that tvOS beta software profile as soon as possible because it's gonna lock your device and you do not wanna update, especially if you wanna, down, if you wanna jailbreak your device. Now, if you, do wanna, if you don't wanna jailbreak your device, go ahead and disregard all of that and go ahead and update as you would. But if you are looking to jailbreak and have some fun with your device, make sure you download this tvOS beta because it will save your device from having to update uh, automatically through Apple. Now for this site, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below. So make sure that you do check the description box and make sure that you navigate to the tvOS beta and download that ASAP. Now the next website I'm gonna show you guys is the iPhone Wiki. Now this site will allow you to download any sort of beta profile and any sort of beta software to your iDevice for free. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because currently at the moment as I'm recording, as I'm pushing this video out, Apple is still signing iOS 12.1.1 beta 3. That is jailbreakable and that is a firmware that you that you're going to want to be on if you want to jailbreak your device. Now, make sure that you navigate to this site via your computer, whether it be a Mac or a PC. I'll leave the link in the description down below, so make sure that you navigate to the iPhone or the iPhone wiki and make sure that you download 12.1.1 beta 3 to your desktop. Now from here, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to really pan over to a computer. I'm gonna actually just step-by-step step tell you how to go about installing this into your device. Now, if you have a device that has a later firmware and you want to downgrade, this step is going to be for you. Plug in your device, upload or start up iTunes and get this firmware and make sure that you save this firmware to your desktop, from your desktop and from your actual, from your computer, actually, I should say. Make sure that you navigate over to your, your phone settings and you're going to want to hit shift and restore or hit option if you're on a Mac, hit option and restore and then it will ask you to choose the firmware or the file that you would like to upgrade or downgrade to which is going to be that file and it will start the process from there. But I quickly wanted to show you guys Panda Owns Twitter page one last time before I ended up cutting the video. If you guys haven't already followed him or even hit that bell for notifications or for any tweets, make sure that you do so because he has got a lot of updates, a lot of important information, especially that is going to keep your jailbreak safe and keep your iDevice from having to boot loop or from breaking. So make sure you guys do subscribe, follow him as well too. But if you guys like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to All Things Apple Plus, check out my other videos, and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section down below i'd be more than happy to help you out with those i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace